All right, are you ready to record and stream with your Logitech C920 in 720p on the internet? I got you covered. As you can see, I've already got my camera plugged in here. Let me show you what you need to do to get to this phase where you're rocking 720p in a program like OBS Studio. First things first, real quick, the prerequisites for this video, you should have already bought the webcam, right? Link in the description below to the Logitech C920, an affiliate link of mine. You should have searched for Logitech G Hub on Google. You should have downloaded and installed the G Hub software, and you should have manually updated your drivers. If none of that made sense to you, that's okay. There's a link in the description below to buy the camera and to go through all of the steps that I just detailed, playlist link below. It makes all that simple. Cool. So to do 720p here in OBS, I'm gonna disappear because right behind me is the settings tab that you need. Settings is right back here. Click the settings tab and it'll pull open a number of options that you need to do before you really get things started. I'm coming back, here we go. So your first stop is the video tab right here. Go to video. And once you go to video, you're gonna select 1280 by 720 as your resolution, that's 720p. You'll select 1280 by 720 as your scaled output resolution. And depending on your computer, try to go up to the highest sample Downscale filter, 36 samples. I recommend doing 30 frames per second with this webcam. If you're doing gameplay or whatever, you can go up to 60, but I recommend doing 30 for those of you that are just looking to do uh, tutorial recordings and things that do not have high motion. Go ahead and hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. Your next stop is going to be the audio tab. I tell people to do something here that is uncommon, but I think is good. Uh, disable all of your audio devices and select the sample rate that is the same sample rate as your microphone. You want to disable all of these so your microphone from your camera does not pop up twice and confuse you, okay? Once you do that, hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. The next tab you're going to go to is the output tab. This is where all the juicy settings are for 720p. Now this will default on simple. Don't do simple. Do advanced. So do the drop down menu and choose advanced. Encoder options include whatever is available on your computer. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, select an NVIDIA NVENC encoder. If you don't, select whatever the 264 variety is, H264, X264, whatever, okay? For this tutorial, I'm gonna do the NVIDIA one because it has more settings options than the others. Do not enforce streaming encoder settings. Don't do that, uncheck this. Do CBR for your rate control. For your bit rate, I recommend going up to 4,000 kbps, up to 4,000. No need to go above that, in my opinion, uh, if you're doing 30 frames per second streams. Your keyframe interval, keep it at zero. Now, the rest of these settings here are gonna be for NVIDIA card users, but you'll do max quality for your preset, high for your profile. Do not use look ahead but do use psycho visual tuning, okay? Hit apply, but do not yet hit, okay? Go to the recording tab. You saw the recording tab up here. All your recording settings are located right up here, my friends. You're gonna go ahead and select the folder by clicking browse right there that you want all your recordings to go into. Click that browse button, select the folder manually, use your storage drive, preferably for that, okay? For your recording format, I choose MP4 because editors can use it in all programs. Other people will fight me, fight me, bro, but I like MP4, all right? Audio track, <laughs> click number one. I don't know why I'm picking fights during this tutorial, but I am. For your encoder, if you have the NVIDIA encoder, use it. If you don't, use the 264 variant, depending on your system. Then for the rest of the settings, you're gonna do rate control CBR. That's nice, consistent bit rate. And then for your recording bit rate, 5,000 is generally recommended. If you want to go up to 10,000, you can, uh, but generally you're not going to get too much more out of it beyond 10,000. So 5,000 to 10,000 for your bit rate. And for your keyframe interval, these are for NVIDIA settings after this, by the way, zero. Your preset for NVIDIA people, max quality, profile, high. Do not use look ahead. Do use psycho visual tuning, okay? Cool, that's the recording tab. Hit apply, but do not yet hit okay. For your audio tab. Yeah, did you know there's an audio tab up here? Everybody skips this freaking audio tab. 
all of your audio, bump it up to 320, baby. So it defaults to like 128, I think. Make it 320. This will double your audio quality or more. 320, 320, 320. Why are you gonna why are you gonna cheap out on the audio quality? Bump it up to maximum. That's what you're gonna do. 320 on all of your audio. Hit apply. And then now you can hit OK. All right. So now your audio quality was just doubled because you watched my tutorial. You're welcome. So if you want to add the camera, I'm going to get rid of mine just so you can watch me do it here from scratch. If you want to add the camera, click the plus button down here under sources. Follow along with me, my friends. Plus button. Video capture device is what you're going to use today. Video capture device is your source that you're adding. Uh, name it whatever you want to call it. Hit OK. You're going to get this menu, and then in the drop-down menu here, select your HD Pro Webcam C920. That's the device we're setting up today. As you can see, it's going to give you a square image by default here. You don't want square, man. You want that 1080p juicy widescreen image. In order to get that, you need to go down here to the resolution FPS type, do custom. And then you're going to manually select a resolution. The resolution you want here is 1920 by 1080. That is the highest resolution this camera offers. Why would I do that? I thought this was a 720p video because I want every pixel. I want every pixel. Go to first per go to FPS and go to 30 FPS and then hit OK. All right. So as you can see, my 1080p image is too big. That's OK. We can downscale it, my friends, by right clicking, do transform and do fit to screen. It'll take that 1080p signal, squish it down to 720p, and boom, you've got maximum quality video on the screen from your webcam. And of course, you can grab the sides of it in any of the corners, like right up there, and resize it, put it in the corner, do your demo in the background, whatever you need to do with your webcam, move that bad boy around. And then whenever you want to lock it in place, click the lock button right over here by sources and lock it into place. I promised you this was a streaming and recording tutorial, so I'll disappear really quick. Start streaming button is here. Start recording button is here. But you might be asking, AWOL, you didn't teach me how to, how to connect to the streaming platforms. What kind of tutorial is this? All right, I'll show you real quick. Hold on. Let's go back into the settings down here. I'm not going to go over every single streaming platform. I'm coming back. I'm not going over every streaming platform, but if you want to set up your streaming platform, click the stream tab over here. Click it, choose your platform, whatever it may be, okay? I recommend uh, for new streamers, for simplicity, choose your platform and then do the account connection option. If you're just getting started, it's much easier. Click it and it'll have you log into that platform, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, or whatever, okay? And then once you've locked, once you've locked in your streaming platform, hit apply and then hit okay. And then whenever you hit start streaming here, It'll just stream to that platform automatically. I'm sorry, you didn't see that. Behind me, start streaming right behind me. It'll automatically stream to that platform. Once again, links in the description below to buy the C920 and for the playlist on other tutorials related to this webcam. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your new webcam.